Carrie Denigan, you lead the European Championships as European champion in the T34 100 metres. Has that sunk in for you? Not quite. I mean, it, it was just such an amazing day and to be able to have my first international gold was so great and it's something that I've been training for so much this season. You know, I really wanted to at least get one gold, so I am. I'm really happy. What does it mean to you to be a European champion? It means a lot, you know, it's my sixth season doing athletics and I have worked so hard and it's just been my dream to actually win on the international stage and win as a senior as well. So it just means that all the hard work that I've put in has, you know, finally actually paid off. What was it like being on the podium? It, it means a lot to be on the podium. I've been so fortunate that even when I haven't won, I've always been able to hear the national anthem, but actually to have it played for me was really special. And then also to actually have it played again, you know, for the 800 metres with Hannah. Yeah, it's just so great to be up there. Of course, you've won plenty of silver medals and bronze medals in the past, but it must be finally sweet to have a gold medal around you. It is. It's so sweet to, to be able to be a gold medalist. It is what I've been training for for so long and I'm just so happy that I've finally reached that stage and I hope to go on and hopefully win even more gold medals in the future. And you obviously followed that up with silver behind Hannah in the 800. A little bit gutted you couldn't take double gold. I know, it was, it was extremely close. I tried my hardest, I gave it everything and Hannah was stronger in the race and I am really pleased with how I performed. I feel like my 800s are getting stronger so it's just something I need to keep working on. What's it like going up against Hannah, someone who is the world and European champion over 800 metres? It is, it's so amazing racing with Hannah. Obviously she is the best in the world and it did make the Europeans even more special because it's not just Europeans but I am, I'm with the best in the world. So it was really, really special to race with her and I really enjoy racing with her and I know we'll go on and have so many more great races together. How have you found the European Championships as a whole? I've really, really enjoyed the European Championships. It's been a great experience. Just the whole team, you know, the atmosphere, being here as well. It's my first European Championships. I've just really enjoyed it and I've got so many great memories to take back home with me. What's it been like to represent Great Britain at your first European Championships? It's been so good to represent Great Britain. We have such a great team. We've done so well, so many gold medals. Actually, everybody has been bringing back great medals and, and other great performances. So it's been amazing to be part of it and amazing to be part of a very historical European Championships for us. When you finish the 100 and you cross the line, you say, this is for your mum and dad, this is for Joe when you cross the line. How much work has Joe and your mum and dad done to get you to this point? Yeah, my family have been so amazing. My mum and dad, they've made so many sacrifices, so many sessions where they've had to take me all over the UK for competitions yeah, and training. And the same with Job. Sometimes he'd be picking me up from school and taking me to Loughborough to do things, you know, to train or to get things sorted there. So they've done so much and they've sacrificed so much and they've believed in me and that's so important. I think when you have people that really believe that you can achieve, it does really, really help when you're out there racing. And what's next for you now? For me, I've got a big year next year. I have my A-level exams, which is a bit, you know, something very different off the track. But obviously, I've got the World Championships as well, and I'm so excited about that. And by then, hopefully, I would have had a good, strong block of training, and hopefully, I'll be able to bring back some more medals. Have you got one eye on Tokyo as well for the Olympics? Yes, definitely. Tokyo is the main aim. That's what I've been thinking about since I started the sport. I'll be stronger, I'll be 19, hopefully I'll be in great shape and be settled wherever I will be at that point. So it's something that I'm so excited about. And Rio was amazing, but I know that Tokyo will be something even more special.